Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon Leaf Green. We are here in Mount Moon, and we're about to exit it because we are about to go to the other side of Route 4, and Cerulean City is right near. Route 4, Mount Moon, Cerulean City. So this is just a very small road, nothing really much to do here. We have some kind of people here. A punch of roaring ferocity, packed with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, let me teach it to your Pokémon. Uh, let's wait a bit. A kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get it right down to it, Mega Kick is ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to your Pokémon. Okay, so basically, these guys can learn Mega Kick and Mega Punch to your Pokémon. And you'll probably see my Pokémon can level up a bit, because some of the upcoming trainers might be a bit tough. So I leveled my Pokémon a bit, so we are ready for the Shillian Gym and the upcoming trainers in the routes to come. So, Mega Punch, Mega Kick is not really that bad move, so it's kind of nice to have. I'm actually just going to give Mega Punch to uh, Mankey at least. Mega Kick is also probably good to some of my other Pokémon. Let's see which one... Okay, so which one will be learning Mega Kick? Okay, I can learn Mega Kick to Mankey. That's, uh, that's fine, I guess. So, let me just double check which one I should take. Because this one learns Mega Punch, the other one learns Mega Kick. Let's see which one I should take. So, in gen, I think the power is pretty good. It's like 80 power or something. Now, Mega Kick is even like super good. If, as far as I remember, Mega Kick is even stronger, and Mega Punch. Is, the problem with Mega Kick is that it's just uh, it's just the low accuracy of it. So it's like you can't do a lot of damage, but it also can bail and miss a lot. Let's see if I can learn Mega Punch on another Pokemon, though. I can learn Mega Punch. Let's see what it can do. Okay, let's see. Mega Punch has, 50, has 80 power, 85 accuracy. So, it's very strong. But see, the accuracy is not perfect on it, so it can miss. Let's uh, just uh, not learn Mega Punch. Just to see what the uh, Mega Kick does. So see, Mega Punch had 80 power, 85 accuracy, so it can miss a few times, but I think Mega Kick is even worse. It has higher power than Mega Punch, but the accuracy is even worse. Let's check. Yeah, look at the Mega Kick. 75 accuracy, that means 1 out of 4 attacks will miss. Look at the power of Mega Kick, though. 120! Check Scratch. That's 40. This Mega Kick does 3 times the damage, but has 1 out of 4 chance times chances to miss. But, in my opinion, Mega Kick has 5 PP, which might actually be a bit of a problem here, I think. I didn't... How, how much PP did the uh, Mega Punch have? Uh, Mega Punch has higher PP as well, so... I think I'm actually gonna go with Mega Punch, because... Yeah, it's worse damage, and uh, bigger accuracy, not that much gain of accuracy, but 20 PP versus 5 is a big thing, so... I'll have Mankey learn Mega Punch, and I'll just save Mega Kick for something else. So do remember, when you have Pokemon that you want to use for Mega Kick or Mega Punch, whatever you don't take, or if you do take both and don't take any of them, come back to Route 4 so you can learn your awesome move. I won't be needing Scratch anymore because of Mega Mega Punch. There we go, so off with Scratch and then with Mega Punch. Remember, this is a one-time thing though. So you can learn both, but you only can choose one Pokemon. So now I can never learn Mega Punch again, but that that's fine. If you did play Pokemon Red and Blue, uh, Mega Punch and Mega Kick, at least Mega Punch, were a, um, a TM. So we get some item here. We get TM of 5 contained Roar. Now Roar is not really what I like. It's just you just switch the opponent's Pokemon out. And as you can see here, there's only ledges here. So if you jump down here, we all can jump this one, can If we jump down the next ledge, there's no turning back. So if I do this, I cannot get back to uh, route to, to Mount Moon. I'm basically stuck here now until I progress. But that's fine, the Cerulean City is just nearby. You change the Pokemon, you can get some Pokemon here. For example, Sandshrew, which is a Pokemon that I used in my uh, Generation 1 Pokemon Blue Let's Play. Pretty strong ground type Pokemon with. Uh, Good bulky defenses and attack is not that really bad. 
And we are in Cerulean City. Awesome. So this is our second city, and here we have the second gym as well, with the water Pokemon. So again, if you did choose Charmander as your starter, you might be in trouble because Charmander is going to get soaked. And that's not a very good thing for Charmander, it's going to struggle. Also, not really a lot of Pokemon you can capture that is really strong against uh, water Pokemon. But you just have to overpower it if you use Charmander. It's not impossible to win with Charmander, it's just not that easy either. So we have the Pokemon here, maybe we can go buy some more items if you need to. Let's see what we can buy. Super Potion, which is a cool thing. P 50 uh, HP instead of 20. The rest of the things here are fine. I'm just gonna stick with this. Okay, this seems to be good to me. Uh, let's check our Pokemon. Just gonna do a little switch of Pokemon for the upcoming battles. I think I'll start with Rattata first, actually. Here we have, we have the bike shop, which we'll get back to later. We have the gym, which we'll go back to later, because the gym is a bit too tough now. I rather want to go up north first to challenge some of the trainers up there before we move on. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. That's bad. There's a bridge up there which we're gonna go, and so there's a Team Rocket guy in the back behind there, but we can't go through the house yet. We have to finish up uh, the second gym and the events north before we can even go up here. So we can progress to more cities. That's fine though. Also, before we go, let's go in here as well. Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? This guy can basically tell you all about the, the uh, badges. Tells you like which stats they boost, what kind of levels Pokemon can um, can be obeyed to. So it's a kind of cool thing. Now let's go north for uh, the upcoming battles up here. What? Oh, it's a rival! Yo, Satana! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokémon. Yeah, let me see what you got, Satana. Oh boy, another rival battle. It's been a while since last time, but here we go. It's a rival, and he likes to battle. Kai sends a Pidgeotto! Whoa, our, his Pidgey has evolved. It's a bit high level, it's level 17, but we should be fine. With Hyper Fang. He is faster than me, and Rattata is not very defensively good. Hyper Fang is a new move I learned at level 13. Rattata is pretty strong. Do it with a quick attack that does KO uh, Rattata because Rattata's defense is a bit low. That's fine. Mankey is a bad choice. Ivysaur is a bad choice here, too. I had to go with my own Pidgey. Simply because Mankey and, and Ivysaur are weak to flying in terms of gust. I'll just do quick attack on my own. Of course, Pidgeotto will do its own, so quick at the Pidgeotto will get the first strike. Attack again. I didn't really think so. I, think I wanted to quick attack so I can get the first hit, but this Pidgeotto is just even more annoying. My Pidgey goes down as well. This is not really a good start for me. But I think we should be fine. Um, I can use Ivysaur, but I'm a bit afraid of... I just have to do it. This will be a problem because I don't really have a lot of moves for Ivysaur. I only have Wine Whip, Leech Seeds, Poison. I only have Grass moves and Poison with Wine Whip. Gust on Ivysaur, which will be super effective, but it's not that damaging because Ivysaur is still tanky enough. Wine Whip does not do in much damage, but I have to do it again. I do have potions on me. Maybe I should have bought that Super Potion. That's fine. Oh, I did it! Nice, Pidgeotto goes down. We have lost two Pokemon and almost lost our third, but we still got down the Pidgeotto. Next up will be Charmander, which is of course the best Pokemon on the team for our rival. Now I'm gonna use Mankey instead. Not because it has anything effective, it's just I just want to test out our new Mega Punch. So here comes Charmander level 18. i go with Mega Punch. Ember on Mankey. It's just some damage. Hi, Mega Punch on Charmander doesn't do that bad. Let's try again. Ember again onto Mankey. Mankey survives, but he is in very low health. Charmander with a Metal Claw will finish off Mankey. And uh, Mankey goes down, unfortunately. Let's go with Nidoran then. Only have three Pokemon left. Two or one of them, which is not even very good. 
Okay, so here I'll just go with a uh, double kick. Ember on the mid around female. Double kick. Doesn't do too much damage, but. If I hit it again, it should take down the Charmander. Let's go for it. Ember on the mid around female. Ouch. Okay, now I'm in trouble. I have to do something I really don't want to do. I just want to switch out uh, with Magikarp. Not because Magikarp is good for this, it's just I want to use this time to heal up. Maybe even revive on the Pokemon. Maybe take revive on Mankey. Mankey will be good as well. Come with Ember on Magikarp, should be KO. Yeah, it is. Not very effective against the Water type, but then again, Magikarp is crap. So thank you, Magikarp, for standing out. Let's send out Mankey, hope he will survive the Ember. Give him 100 Mega Punch. Ember on Mankey. Oh boy. Am I in trouble right now? I think I might be in trouble. Ivysaur in. I think it's not gonna get very quick in though. Oh shit. I just lost. Okay. Well, that happens. Generation 1 is a bit tougher, but I was a bit uh, stupid. So. Again, this will happen. My Pokemon is sealed up, I lost some gold, and, well, shit happens. So yeah, I probably should have bought the Super Potion instead, and I maybe shouldn't have revived Mankey there. Just... It's just a Pidgeotto, it's just a pain in the ass, because Pidgeotto is level 17, hard-hitting, not very easy to do, deal with. Let's get some Super Potions now for the next battle. There we go. Let's see, yeah. I think the rest should be fine. This is a potion because they need to stay alive. And as you can see, I k did 2KO Pidgeotto. Um, was a bit hard stuff. It's one of the bad things about having Ivysaur on your team. Mank as well. Now, Rattata did fine, but thing is, Rattata, you see, it took a lot of damage here, so. Let's see, who else can I do this with? Maybe I can change to um, Pidgey for set attacks, but no, I don't think that's going to work a lot. Nidoran as well? It's not really good. Girl Scratch, Tail Whip. I mean, maybe I could pick up Nidoran just to debuff Pidgeotto? I'll try that first. Okay, let's try our rival again. He did beat us, but if we do lose, we're just going to fight him again. Until we beat him. So of course we have the grass outside to train up as well if we need to, but that's fine. Let's take on Pidgeotto. Again, he's level 17. The Ren female is lower level, but I'm just going to debuff him now. To make sure we can deal a lot of damage to Pidgeotto. We can either reduce his defense, or we can reduce his attack power. Kind of up to you how we want to do it. I think I'll go with uh, the... Uh, Go with the, the attack power. Sand attack from Pidgeotto on Nidoran female. Growl hits. Attack power goes down. Let's try to do it again. Tackle. Doesn't do much. And here comes the big great thing about Nidoran female. The abilities that was not introduced in Generation 1 became in Generation 3. Now we see Nidoran female has a poison point, which means physical attacks can uh, cure a poison on the opponent. Now, for example, Pidgeotto is poisoned, his attack power is going down, and this battle is going to be tougher for Pidgeotto to win now, because he's just going to be hitting less harder and harder. At the same time, um, he's going to keep, you know, getting damaged by poison. So, the Nidoran female is actually a lot of, you know, stirring. It's about staling the opponent. I lost two growls because of the side attack, but that's fine. Because now Pidgeotto is going to be in trouble. I think I'll do... I think it's enough, enough now, so let's go with the uh, Scratch, Quick Attack. It does miss because of side attacks, but Poison keeps taking on Pidgeotto now. Quick Attack again. Doesn't care me, Scratch. Now I can be a total bastard against my rival now and just use a Potion. Let's use a Super Potion on Nidoran Female. Pidgeotto with Quick Attack. Doesn't that much damage because it put in a lot of growls. The poison is ticking now. My level 13 Nidoran female is about to KO level 17 Pidgeotto, which is, I think is pretty strong. Of course, I, okay, I did use potion, but still it's pretty good. I missed my scratch, but that's fine, because the Pidgeotto's poison is ticking out. There we go. 
Pidgeotto goes down, and now suddenly we have taken up Pidgeotto without losing a single Pokémon. So good in turn of strategy, and Nidoran females level 14. Great. Next we'll have Abra. Now Abra is a Pokémon you can basically choose whatever you want, because Abra on uh, the rival... Well, let me just show you why it don't really matter which one you use. I don't care if Magic Carp though, because it doesn't have an attack. But let's pick out... Let's take a Rattata, just to show off. So Rattata in against the Abra. Now Abra could be a good psychic Pokemon, there's just one problem. That's the only thing it knows, Teleport! And Teleport does not work in trainer battles, and one Hyper Fang just killed it because Abra and Kadabra Alakazam are known for having super low defenses. Next up will be another Rattata, it's gonna be a revival Rattata versus mine. It's level 15, so it's a higher level. Tail Whip from the enemy Rattata onto me. I'll go with Hyper Fang in, the, in return. Wow, look at the damage there. I mean, that Rattata is basically the same level as me. Oh wow, that quick attack did a lot of damage. But doesn't know Hyper Fang for some reason. Look at this. We have KO'd three of the Pokémon from our rival this time, and now we still have all of our Pokémon left. Now comes Charmander. This can be a bit of a problem now, because I don't have any Pokemon I can quicken out on, uh, on Charmander. But we can use Pidgey here, just to be a debuffer as well. It's just all about getting that Embers away, because he's level 18, it's gonna be tough. I'm just gonna go with Sanitize. Ember comes out, does a lot of damage. We can do debuff one, Sanitize attack at least, which means that Curse will go down. Ah, Ember second hits, that's bad. But Curse is going down now, so he will be not hitting everything. Let's get in Mankey now. Hopefully that will be doing good. Mankey in with you. With Mega Punch. Ember still hits, so one side attack hasn't really made that big of a difference. That goes the Mega Punch onto Charmander. Wow, a critical hit! Great stuff. Ember again on Mankey. Will he survive? Oh, damn it! That's weird. First one is 15 damage, this one is 20 plus. That's, uh,. That's awkward. Okay, Ivysaur I can use. I can, like, debuff uh, Charmander. I can give him sleep, po sleep Powder, or Poison Powder, even for that matter. I can probably use Poison Powder here, just to try to, to stall here. Try with Ember, which will be super effective. Takes me half health. Poison Powder, which means now Charmander is poisoned. That's good, because now Charmander will also start losing health per periodically. There we go. Now he's in the blue level. I'll probably will be KO'd now, because his embers never miss for some reason. Super effective, which means Ivysaur goes down, nothing we can do about that. Let's bring in uh, Nidoran female. It's just more about stalling now to Charmander until the poison takes out. One more poison should do it. Let's see if I survive this now. Let's, let's see if I can KO actually. Nidoran female takes the ember. It doesn't survive. Now I'll do something funny. Magikarp! Come on in. Magic Carpet. Herpa Poison. Oh, that was unfortunate, Charmander. Magic Carp takes the victory and goes to level 8. And, nah, uh, 8. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, I did win. That was nice. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. There are a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world's famous as a Pokémaniac. He invented the Pokémon storage system on PC too. If he's using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I've get a bit rolling. Smell you later. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you, not really. You're always plotting behind me. So I'll give you a little present as a favor. We get a fame checker. A chatty gossip like you, that thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't leave a hoot about others. Alright, this time I really am gonna smell ya. Okay. That was a nice thing, at least the fame checker is something new you get in this game compared to other games. Let's just revive our Pokemon. Okay, so that was a bit of a iffy battle, I had to do this twice, but that's fine. Now, the, uh, I'm about to end this episode, but I want to do a few more battles, just quick ones, because... Yeah, because I just want to. Let's just go up here. 
do a quick battles here. Let's just bring in Pidgey against this Bug Trainer. There we go. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Oh, I know it. Hashtag know it. Bugcatcher Kale with four Pokemon. First will be Caterpie. Level 10. Yeah, the difficulty has gone a bit down now, but that's fine. Now, beating your rival here is more about able to go and uh, beat the gym in Cerulean City as well. We take down the Caterpie. Next up will be Weedle. We'll take on Weedle. There we go. Let's gust him up. This is just a really nice way for us to get that rat at that uh, Pidgey up and going. Weedle is taken out as well. Very nice. Next up will be Metapod. Which mobile will be very hard. Let's just take care of it quickly. They're kind of running in overtime now. That's fine. Oh, Metapod survives. That is because his defense is just much higher. But doesn't have anything else to give. So it's a basically free win Pokemon. Even the hard enough will not keep its gust from running out, and Pidgey takes out Metapod as well. There we go. And last will be Kakuna. So we've seen Weedle, Pidgey, no, Weedle and Caterpie, and it's evolved forms Kakuna and uh, Metapod. Kakuna doesn't survive that one though, so Me Pidgey will now go to level 16. Which is nice. Pidgey is going up in levels, so I'm getting stronger. Hope we can evolve it soon. Be it but catch a kill. Whoa, good stuff! Good stuff indeed. I'm gonna take, uh, gonna take this trainer and I'm gonna take the third one, then I'll stop. And we'll end up the Nugget Bridge in the next episode. We'll fight right off against Last Alley with Pidgey. Yeah, Pidgey versus Pidgey. We can take care of that. Let's go quick attack because I just think it's better. Tackle. Doesn't do much because the four level difference means I have much more defense. Higher, t higher attack power as well, or that one has less attack power than I have more defense, that's basically how it's speak. Critical hit onto the enemy Pidgey, which was a bit useless because it was just about to get KO anyways. Oddish! Oh yeah, we'll stay with Pidgey for Oddish, because Oddish is a grass poison type, just like um, just like Bulbasaur. I don't know why I did quick attack there, I was just probably quick clicking a bit too fast. Absorb is the only thing uh, really uh, Oddish can do at this time. Let's just do a gust to finish it off. There we go. Oddish goes down. Let's see what we'll face off against next. Next one will be Bellsprout. Another grass poison type. Now the reason why we have two of these is because Oddish and, and Bellsprout are exclusive Pokémon. One is exclusive to the other. That's basically what you have to do, do with it. We take down both of them, and we are level 17 now. Which is nice. And that's how we go. How could I lose? That was nice though. Okay, let's do one more trainer before we end this episode. Let's take this uh, third person. Here's number three, I want BZ. Oh, I bet you won't be. The youngster Timmy wants to battle with Sandshrew. Okay, we can take on Timmy. So Sandshrew, let's just stick with... Uh, we can do with Gust here. Now flying versus ground is a bit special because... Yeah, so you can probably see Sandshrew is tanky. He's four levels below. That's, his, his damage we do to him is not really locked. It's because Sandshrew is a very tanky Pokemon. Which is just what we have to survive with. That's fine. I mean, we won't take it to half, and it's still a bit of a struggle. Quick attack again. Defense curl. Let's just finish off this one. Come on, Sandshrew. Quick attack. Defense curl. Oh, this is annoying. I probably should have switched an Ivysaur for this, but that's fine. It's going to be a long episode. Almost half an hour episode, but um, I just really wanted to do this. There we go. Take care of Sentry. Next up will be Ekans, Poison type. Now we can deal with Poison types. Let's check in Rattata against Ekans, the uh, poisonous snake. It does have Intimidate, which means my attack power will go down as we start. 
I still think we'll do fine. Let's go with Hyper Fang and get Ekans. Still takes him about half. Poison Sting. Not very dangerous. Can poison me, which is just it. My health is starred now, periodically taking down. But the poison sting itself is not that very dangerous. It has very low attack power, but it can affect poison. Second Hyper Fang takes care of Ekans, even though it's intimidated on. And Rarata is level 15. Great work, Rarata. And that's Youngster Timmy. Ah, oh, stump flat! Yeah, you can say that. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll continue up the Nugget Bridge and meet with Bill. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Leaf Green continues.